Hi guys, today I want to talk about your prep slash conference time. Now, before I get started, I want you to think about how do you currently use your prep slash conference time? Some of you might say, that's when I talk to my coworkers, or I make copies, or I plan, or I make a phone call, or um, check on kids, who, who knows? There's lots of different ways that you could use your conference time. Today, I'm gonna to talk about what I do. And it's not every day, not all the time does it go exactly how I have planned. Sometimes we have meetings, sometimes we have parent-teacher conferences, sometimes we have other things that we just have to do during that time that it is not as productive as we want it to be. So today I wanna to pose the question of, well, kinda of not a question, but if you're not using your conference time slash plan time to plan, when are you planning? So I have had a conversation with a coworker and she and I plan very differently. I plan during my conference time. I close my door, I sit down and I plan and I get the things ready that I need. And if I'm caught up on all those things, then I go socialize or I set a timer for 10 minutes or whatever during my conference time and I go and talk to my coworkers. I do not spend majority of my conference time talking to people. I use it very carefully because I do not want to plan outside of my contracted time. Now, you might be like my friend. My friend chooses to socialize during her conference time and she chooses to go to the school on Sunday afternoons and that's when she plans. She sits down, she gets the things that she needs done and that's how she plans. When there's no one else on campus, when there's no one else to talk to, that's when she gets all the things done that she needs to. If that works for you, that's great. You do that. But if you are not planning during your plan time, you have to plan at a different time whether that's coming in before school or staying late after school, coming in on the weekends. If you are not using that plan time to plan and accomplish tasks, you have to do it another time. There's no way around it. Your copies will not make themselves. Your lessons will not get planned themselves. It won't happen. If you are not planning during your plan time, you will have to give up another time. So, for the sake of this video, we're gonna talk about the way that I plan. One, because I have firsthand uh, experience with it and I don't have experience with the other version of doing it on the weekend. So for my conference and my plan time, what I do is, I've talked about this in a past video, is that I come up with a planning routine. On Monday, I do something specific. On Tuesday, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so that I don't have to use all of my time because I also need to go to the bathroom. I also need a snack. I also need to get other materials out for that specific day, not just plan for weeks to come. So I need time that I can't use the entire time of my conference for just planning. There are other tasks that need to be accomplished. So I make a to-do list. Maybe you're not a to-do list person. Maybe you are, uh, I will remember this. I am not. I am a sticky note queen. There are sticky notes in everything. I have a sticky note in my lap so that I know what to talk to you about. I have sticky notes on my computer. I have sticky notes in my planner. I have sticky notes sometimes stuck to my phone. I have reminders on my phone. I have sticky notes in my purse. I have sticky notes in my car. That is how I get things done because I get started on a task. I think of something else and off I go and I forget what I was supposed to be doing. Also, if someone talks to me, I lose my train of thought. If I have a to-do list, I don't have to spend time thinking about what I need to get done. I've already taken that time to compile the list and I can just check things off. I'm not sure what will work the best for you. If you are a first year teacher, ask the mentor teachers or the veteran teachers around you. Ask them what they do to get things done. See which one you're like and what fits your personal preference and try those things. If you're not a list person, my way is not gonna work for you. 
if you are someone who likes to get everything done at one time, my planning method probably isn't for you. Maybe you need to be the Sunday evening person who goes in on Sunday afternoons and you can pl plan the entire time without disruptions. Find what works for you. Ask people. Teaching is a group effort. Even though you are the one that teaches the specific students in your classroom, it is a team effort. Talk to the people who teach your same grade level. Talk to the teachers who are mentors or veteran teachers. Look online. There's tons of groups on Facebook or Instagram or any of those kinds of things that can give you great ideas. Go to Teacher Pay Teacher. All those big filing cabinets full of stuff that was left to you from the teacher before you, but you don't know what to do with, just look on Teacher Pay Teacher. Type in what you want. Majority of the time, you can even find what you want for free. Talk to the people around you. Hook yourself into the community of teachers and don't try to do it on your own. You can do it your own way, but trying to do teaching all by yourself with no help from anyone is exhausting. If you talk to the people who are also teaching the same grade level as you and you see something cool, they might even make your copies for you. They're already going to the copy machine. They already have it in their hand. They might even make the copy for you. You might find something that a veteran teacher loves and says, hey, can I have a copy of that? Whoop, whoop, look at you go. You're adding to the community of teachers. Teaching is hard. I'm not gonna pretend that it's not. Planning is hard. Sometimes it's the biggest pain that we have to do because we know what we want to teach. We just have to find the how to teach. But look around, talk to those people, but use your plan time to plan. One of the biggest things that I hear from teachers is I have so much stuff that I have to take home. All these things that I have to take home. Are you using your plan time to plan? Are you using that time to accomplish the tasks that you have during your job time? You're already there. Those are your contracted hours. It is time set aside for you to accomplish things. Like I said, I know there's meetings. I know there's parent-teacher conferences, IEP meetings. All of those things get scheduled during our free time but try the best that you can to get the work that you need done during your plan time. If you set it up at the beginning of the school year that you work during that time, people won't come searching for you. If your door is closed and locked, people have to knock. If you're busy, you don't have to answer. Or you can say, I'm planning right now, come back later. Stick a note on your door that says, I'm planning right now, please come back later. I'm busy, I'm on the phone. Whatever you need to do to get that time to plan, do it. So I hope that this video is helpful. Hopefully first year teachers, uh, if you're not a first year teacher, pass it on to a first year teacher. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.